Born down in a dead man's town The first kick I took was when I hit the ground You end up like a dog that's been beat too much Till you spend your whole life just to cover it up now Born in the USA I was born in the USA I was born in the USA Born in the USA Hey, how you doing? Justin here with Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. Fantastic beginner song. This one only got two chords. Going to show you a few ways to play it, a few different approaches to strumming. First thing, we're using a capo to simplify the chords, the original chords, the chords played on the original recording. For more advanced guitar players, you're going to be using a B bar chord and an E open chord. Okay, that's the two chords that you could use if you didn't have a capo and you wanted to play along with the original recording. You could use B chord up here, an E chord there. Okay, there's lots of different approaches because it's only got two chords, okay? So let's start off with the simplest strumming pattern possible, which is a down strum on beat one. So literally, you get your A chord down, down strum on beat one. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. And change to D. Two, three, four. Strum, two, three, four. Strum, two, three, four. Strum, two, three. And back to A. And just using this, you'd be able to play along with the original recording, which if you're a beginner guitar player, is loads of fun. Here's the tricky bit. It's going to be a chord change if you're a beginner. Every beginner finds it really difficult to change between your chords. It's just real normal for beginners to struggle with chord changes. That's what happens. Again, go and check out the website, the beginner's course. I've got loads of exercises on how to speed up your chord changes there. But that's really the first step is just really keep the strumming that simple. One strum per bar and see if you can play along with the original recording because it's great fun to be playing along with that. Another option I should mention as well is that I have a beginner's song course app which includes this song. So if you want to have a play along with a, like a backing track with drums and bass and the melody playing, you can play this you, just using A and D chords and no capo required. It gives you a full backing track there. So go and check that out on the website. There's a, you'll find plenty of ads for the beginner song course. Uh, just have a look in the description as well. There's going to be a link there. So once you feel confident and can play along just using the single strum, I would recommend that you go to four down strums to the bar. So literally just playing one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, Four, two, three, four, change to D. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. And back to A. Two, three, four, two, etc. And it just keeps going on through that tune as well. So that would be second strumming option. Another strumming technique that you might like to apply to this song is putting an accent on beats two and four. So you're actually playing one and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so just continuous strumming, but you want to put an accent on beats two and four. So a harder strum on beats two and four. It kind of copies a thing called the backbeat, which is when the drummer hits the snare drum. And it's something that really kind of moves the groove on a song. So having this... Now that kind of thing for me really kind of moves it along nice. So you've got a few different levels there that you can play about with as a beginner guitar player to, to try out the just real simple strumming, then four down strums, and then eight strums, but accenting beats two and four. That's, that would be the three options that I'd kind of recommend. Um, a couple of other nice things that you can add in as a beginner that I think make it sound really cool. Uh, the first one is instead of playing a regular D chord, if you play a D sus2, and a D sus2 is very easy. You just start with a D chord and then lift off your second finger, your driving finger, middle finger, um, and it just kind of opens up the sound a little bit more. There's regular D. Here's D sus2. Yeah, it's kind of a bit more open, and, and in this case.
for me it just kind of adds a nice kind of air to the tune so that's something that you might like to have a bit of a play about with as well um Another really interesting thing about this tune is that you can change the chords that you play. Because it's only got two chords, as a beginner, it can be pretty interesting to try using different sets of chords for the same song. So at the moment we're using A and D chords with a capo second fret. But if we put the capo up on the fourth fret, we can now play the same thing using G chord and C chord. It's actually exactly the same sound. You could still play along with the original recording now using G. straight away it's a different sound okay it's still the same chord you can jam along but it's a different kind of quality um, the chord particular chord change that I think sounds nice is to use the four finger G um, using your third and fourth fingers on the thinnest two strings and then instead of going to a regular C chord you just move first and second fingers down the chord technically is called a C add nine but it's just a different kind of C chord that beginners can use in, in this kind of a tune I think it sounds real nice you know to have those two those two chords I think work real good um, and you could even if you wanted to you could put the capo right up on the seventh fret and uh, use an E chord and an A chord okay so if you're learning and you just know E A and D you could play it with the capo at the second fret and play A and D or capo at the seventh fret and play E and A okay it's really cool to be able to you know get these things figured out on your guitar journey you'll probably learn eventually how these things work why we can use the capo at different places and different chords but it sounds the same it's one of those really interesting guitar logic kind of things you might want to check out my ebook practical music theory if you want a bit more information on that but uh, you know it works just as good And again, actually, instead of playing a full A chord, I went to an A sus 2 chord. So I'm just using, uh, with a capo on the 7th fret, I'm using my 2nd finger 2 frets above the capo, which happens to be the ninth fret on the 4th string, and my 3rd finger in the ninth fret on the 3rd string. Um, gives a really nice sound, it's called an A sus 2 chord, uh, would be the grip, that, the, the grip name there. Still functioning as the same sound, okay, and that's what's really interesting about these different capo versions. Um, and one thing that if you've got a jam buddy, somebody that you can play with, a really awesome thing is to be both doing different versions of the same chord. So you might have the capo up on the 7th fret and play uh, E to A sus, and your mate will have the, the capo on the 2nd fret and play A to D. Okay, that kind of thing sounds really, really awesome, like properly awesome when you get the two guitars doing different variations of the same chords. It's something definitely very special to check out. So, look, I hope that's given you a whole bunch of ideas to check out. Do remember to play along with the original recording or use my beginner song course app to be able to play along with something because as a beginner, there's nothing more inspiring than actually playing along with drums and bass and really keeping it real, you know. So, uh, see you for plenty more lessons very soon. Please subscribe to my channel if you dig what I do. And remember, there's more than a thousand lessons on the website including a whole beginner's course and all of the beginner songs structured so you can really find ones that'll suit your level of playing real easy so i'll see you for plenty more very soon you take care of yourselves bye bye